This is a tale of victories and treasons. This is not a fable. This is my story and the story of the kingdom I serve. In this tale, there is happiness amongst sadness, friendship amongst deception, but above all, there is blood. I hope this letter reaches you in good condition and that you will remember what I, what we, have done. Everything we could for our motherland, for our people, and for our future. My name is Othbane. I was a general of Ajrer on that fateful day. I must admit, our army was not prepared, but we had lived for generations in peace. Who should care about a tiny island such as ours? We were so far away from the continent's conflicts and wars, when a Thrakia landed its warships on our shores, with their soldiers, knights, and engines of war. It did not take long for our cities to fall. Seven days. That was all it took. In one week they had breached the walls of Gaiacus, and the once free people of Osrear were now servants to new masters. Few Osrear soldiers were killed. Most surrendered. However, those of us who still clung to hope fled south. We had the courage to start what they would later call the Resistance. At first, we were merely a handful of men fighting bandits, too weak to confront our occupiers. But soon enough, things changed. I remember the first victory that dared us to dream of reclaiming the kingdom we had lost. Yes, everything began that day.
The few loyal men who remained by my side had grown weary of life in the mountains. Once proud soldiers of Osrea were reduced to hiding in the shadows from Athrakian occupiers. We lived off the land, foraging for food in the wilderness, occasionally dealing out justice to the growing numbers of bandits in the south. I thought that was to be my life until the end. A fallen general of Oz Rare commanding a fool's troop of forgotten soldiers in the provinces. Meeting Lieutenant Sylphin changed everything. His optimism and energy, along with the added strength of his men, made me think for the first time that greater things might be possible. We were still too weak to march directly on Gaiacus and reclaim Nobel's throne. But perhaps we could do more to harass Athrakian forces in the south. Liberation was still out of reach, but vengeance was easily at hand.